Good morning, and welcome to another segment of the Worth Report for October 25th. Keep America vigilant to 24. Extended counting plus a national crisis. A massive group of illegals currently being held back by the Mexican government is expected to flood the United States the day after the election, while key states drag their feet, counting. A crucial Florida county officially flips red in early voting. 31% of interviewed illegals are registered to vote in Minnesota. A master key for USPS has been stolen, and ballots are popping up in storm drains. The U.S. government and Democrat websites have opened the door for unlimited foreign voting. Bill Gates donates $50 million to Kamala Harris' efforts. Democrats set the tone for the public to expect weeks of counting. Tulsi Gabbard becomes a Republican. Voters in Texas say they're voting for Trump, but their final ballots say Kamala, just as we reported in Georgia. And 31,000 mail-in ballots have been requested from ineligible addresses in Wisconsin, and it's happening in every state. First to North Carolina, where Tulsi Gabbard has announced at a Trump event that she is becoming a Republican, crediting Trump, stating, quote, It is the party of common sense and the party that is led by a president who has the courage and strength to fight for peace. Welcome aboard. Meanwhile, the New York Times reports that Bill Gates just secretly spent $50 million to support Kamala Harris, reporting, quote, After decades of sitting on the sidelines of politics, Bill Gates, one of the richest people in the world, has said privately that he recently donated about $50 million to a nonprofit organization that is supporting Vice President Kamala Harris's presidential run, according to three people briefed on the matter. The donation was meant to stay under wraps. Is anyone surprised? He must be sweating. Trump already has a decisive lead across the country, even by mainstream polling which is never trustworthy in seeing the full picture. In Florida, crucial Miami-Dade County has officially flipped Republican in early mail-in voting. In Nevada, where Democrats traditionally rely on strong early voting, nearly 6,000 more Republicans have voted as of Tuesday. If Trump wins three or four battleground states, he will outright win the election with well over 300 electoral votes. Currently, all signs point to Trump. Will the massive cheating be enough? Or will the American people overpower the shadow government that has run this country for decades? The deep state is currently doing everything possible to stop Trump from what appears to be an incoming historic victory like we've never seen before. And we're here to expose it. For example... Muckraker CEO Anthony Rubin has released video showing that 31% of interviewed illegals are registered to vote in Minnesota. This was made possible by Kamala's never-to-be vice president, Tim Waltz, who signed the Driver's License for All bill that allows non-citizens to obtain driver's licenses. We previously reported how states were passing laws that would register anyone applying for a driver's license to vote automatically. Get the picture? The Worf Report strikes again with the truth. We exposed this tactic months ago, but once again, it's death by a thousand cuts. The U.S. government and the Democrat Party website are both accepting uniformed and overseas citizens absentee voting act registrations online without verification of identity or even U.S. citizenship. The screenshot on the right is an example of that. It opens the door to unlimited foreign voting in our elections. Applicants can choose to register in any state without anyone verifying that the person has a connection to it. And while the U.S. government reports only 2.8 million total overseas citizens eligible to vote, the DNC has a stated goal of winning over 9 million of these votes. Impossible, right? Wrong. The following video we're about to show you is being taken down all across the web. It was posted by Iranian hackers who show exactly how easily they use overseas ballot applications to register fake identities using stolen voter registration information from states. Before we play this video, we need to inform you of something. YouTube will very likely remove this video and ban us leading up to the election so we can't report to you what's going on as we did in 2020. So if you haven't already and you'd like to stay informed as we continue to expose the fraud of the 2024 election without interruption, please go to our main platform to sign up for full segments. You can sign up for a one-time payment, lifetime subscription for only 
at theworthreport.com slash lifetime or sign up for an annual or monthly subscription at theworthreport.com slash register. Our independent platform is the only place you are guaranteed to find our reports once they ban us, likely for good in the very near future. Want to keep watching? YouTube continues to ban our channel and remove our truthful reporting, previously labeling our content as, quote, harmful to the public. Support us and sign up for full segments at theworthreport.com, where we can say exactly what we want without the censorship or suppression. Only $6.99 a month or $49.99 a year. We've also just announced a new lifetime subscription plan for just $99.99, which will be available for a very limited time. That's right. A one-time payment of $99.99 gets you a subscription to The Worth Report for life. But hurry, because this option won't be available for long. Sign up at theworthreport.com slash lifetime. You can also make a one-time donation by clicking the new donate button at the top right corner of theworthreport.com to donate any amount you like and support us even more. We truly can't do this without you, so please support us today. Go to theworthreport.com to sign up or donate. God bless you all. God bless President Trump and God bless America.